so we're working on the environment for our reinforced learning algorithm and I will I would like to explain you uh, something something because uh, it's not easy to build to some something successful like like it seems on the uh, first year uh, first of all uh, what we need to do we need to find for example um, some dependence on the market yeah we can uh, for example Bitcoin and uh, we need to find some uh, simple trading idea yeah. and what is the what is idea could be um, for example let's take the previous uh, minimum or maximum yeah? like this one for example and <clears throat> then uh, we need to look for what happens inside on this level and you see sometimes um, this is a uh, um, resistance line and it's working it means there it could be uh, for us uh, some entry points and we could trade this on and vice versa if uh, a price will be support this line uh, we turn uh, to uh, to trade this on but um, why it's working uh, it's working because it's not a technical indicators because it's uh, psychology indicators because uh, too many people too many trades uh, traders and uh, investors looking for peak yeah external minimum or maximum or like psychology level it's only psychology it's not uh, some uh, trading uh, statistics on all this psychology and <clears throat> our hypothesis hypothesis it means uh, if this psychology exists uh, we need to test this one yeah? okay and then we need uh, to test uh, uh, this uh, fundamental idea correctly first of all i would like to show you what happens uh, if you're trying to apply some machine learning ideas it not depends of uh, some clever um, some clever uh, model like lstm or some combination with the combination neural network and LSTM um, or some mechanism attention or random forest or line navigation uh, because uh, if you input some garbage data it, uh, it doesn't matter what idea what model uh, you're going to use uh, your output would be also some garbage for example I create uh, oh, where is uh, yes one second yeah so let's look in uh, some very simple uh, we take this uh, we create some indicators like this one here and also I input um, a signal some signal from resistance level and support level and we're trying to test this one and when we test on this one I will put our columns trying to predict what happens on the next uh, bar uh, we take some test size yeah. and it's not working because yeah it's a little bit better than random it's about uh, 52 percent accuracy um, but it's not working it's not depend uh, if you you're going to tune model maybe uh, you improve your results uh, to 50 three percent or you're going to use some uh, very uh, very hard uh, very big uh, neural network yeah maybe a little bit improve but in general you couldn't you couldn't achieve some good results for example yeah of course let's look in if you do some cross validation and you do for example trying to adapt uh, some machine learning for current situation uh, if you train on the last seven day and trying to predict next one day it's it not dependent for example you, you could uh, train on the last uh, 90 days or 60 days but in general result, the results would be approximately the same what is mean as this idea yeah i create this cross validation for time series uh, for random forest uh, 
I like random forest because uh, we, need, we, we shouldn't uh, scale our data because uh, this algorithm, uh, we, uh, for this algorithm, we don't need to scale. And all, uh, I, I think this uh, random forest, it's a very uh, cool idea to test, a uh, very cool algorithm to test your idea uh, because it's working it's very fast. And if there exists some dependency, of course, for example, 60%, then you could improve uh, if you, uh, you're going to use uh, XGBoost or LSK model or so combination between LSK and correlation around the network. But uh, let's look at the results. Um, so this is accuracy on, on validation at test. It means uh, we take uh, train data yeah, last seven days and trying to predict uh, what happens on the next day. But not, it not depend if you're going to predict or not. Uh, next day, for example, you could predict next one bar, yeah. but in general, uh, results would be very low. But if you're going to use some clever, uh, I mean, some simple trading ideas uh, from fundamental points, like psychology level, for example, because it should be working, yeah, it's, it's a mechanic of market. And I create some uh, back tests without any vector BT or something like that because I would like to control uh, step by step what happens inside. So, <coughs> um, this includes uh, two classes uh, trade strategy and trading simulator. This one execute trade, and uh, I'm going to trade when, our, when, when we see a buy signal. Yeah. It, it could be some support line or resistance line depends of uh, uh, situation. I mean, for example, this line here, yeah? this is, for example, like resistance, uh, we could open sell signal. Also, we could uh, trade this one if you're going to test this level and we are going to buy. Yeah? Okay, this simple condition. We trade this one, I, I calculate some long profit, and uh, also we do the same uh, for short signal. Yeah, of course, I implement uh, some ideas like uh, trading stop. It means if uh, you see if uh, current price, uh, uh, it means uh, if uh, current bar uh, decrease uh, more than 0.2 percent uh, compared of uh, previous bar. I'm going to close okay, this this one, but uh, of course uh, you could uh, tune this one. So this is very uh, simple ideas, and yeah, it's not dependent right now because I'm trying to combine uh, this strategy with uh, machine learning. Next, uh, I do analyze uh, trade. It's uh, only for uh, display uh, statistics. And what will do? I'm testing for the last year, for example. And you see, uh, it's working. Um, percentage of profitable uh, profitable trades is around uh, 60, 66 percent. But uh, in general, it depends of uh, Parameters I could achieve uh, from 60% to uh, 75%. Uh, for example, if uh, I decrease some parameters, I could increase the uh, total number of trades, and my uh, percentage, percentage of profit trades uh, would be uh, more than 70%. Um, but then a quality of uh, trades would be worse, and I achieve average profit less than. Uh, zero. It would be it's about uh, zero point fifteen. Yep. It's like uh, uh, intraday trading. And if, if I plot uh, this results, yeah, it's not happens every day. It happens the situation maybe uh, um, several times per week. You see, for example, last time it happens on September. Uh, 28 uh, September, 
before it was on 25 September. Okay, and this profit, uh, profitable line is uh, uh, good. And what is very important for us, of course, is commission. Yeah, uh, because if the quality of trades would be worse and I have uh, too many trades, uh, average profit would be uh, is around, uh, for example, 0.08%. But uh, if you um, exclude the commission as a strategy, it would be not prof uh, profitable, it uh, doesn't matter. It, I mean, not make sense for us to use this one. <coughs> but this one, uh, if I calculate net profit, I see, yeah, it's working. It's working. And it, it takes is around 10%. Um, so, using this strategy, um, I can I, I can generate 10% per year in general. Uh, it's not big percentage, of course, because uh, you know Bitcoin could increase three uh, x, for example, yeah. Or if you invest on some uh, shitcoin, some, and you could, uh, this one increase on uh, ten times ten x. But um, for us, um, it doesn't matter for me. It doesn't matter for me if uh, market would increase or decrease. And what is what is uh, for me is very important. It is I have stop loss. I have stop loss and I have trend stop loss. And I trade on those situation. What I understand? Okay. So <clears throat> what does it mean uh, for us? I have fundamental idea. Yeah, I tested. I tested. Uh, um, I double check it uh, for leakage data. Yeah, it's very important. Also, you should uh, check twice your back test strategy to understand that do you have uh, leakage of data or not. So I'm looking. Yeah, it's working. And then my <coughs> my idea. My idea is how to how can I improve these results because uh, we have a commission. So it means uh, I need to enter on the market some limit order and exit from the market some limit order. And uh, but for us the main idea uh, if we have some fundamental idea and it's working. And we could improve this one uh, if we if we are going to use reinforced learning power. Yep. Because it's working and we know we have uh, this one and this dependency, we understand uh, the main idea, all this logic, step by step, and then uh, we could uh, uh, we could uh, improve these results. And my step what would be I understand uh, how I can uh, improve number of trades yeah? because I would like to trade maybe every day uh, because it would be already trading trading strategy maybe it would be uh, two time two trades per day uh, in general yeah? and I can improve this one and also I would like to improve strategy to manage my position using the force logic yeah I have entry point. Let's look again on the market. Like this one. Oh, uh, let's look at some previous high. And I would like to solve this situation using the reinforced learning algorithm. Or this one. It's a very simple idea, but it's, it is correct idea because I'm sure 90% of you, uh, you, you would like to input some uh, 1000 indicators and try, oh, okay, machine learning uh, solves this problem, I don't know uh, what happens inside, but it's not working for us. We need to take some fundamental idea of the market, some mechanic of, of, the, of the market and try to, and if it, it's working on some simple back test, yeah, like, like this one that I showed you, and then we can, uh, we can improve this one. So, 
<clears throat> the next step uh, for me would be how to uh, input this logic to my uh, my environment class, what I, I write, and then and then would be uh, we need to create some reward reward function. Yeah, it will be a, a big piece of work. There's a reward function, and and then uh, we're trying to increase uh, number of uh, trades. To trades, I mean, uh, to add more fundamental ideas from the market uh, to this environment to, to trade this one. Yeah, and then there would be a stage of the de deploy. Um, I don't remember. Maybe I share with you some logic to how how to trade with Binance API, and then. Um, how to process data in real time? Um, in my experience, I'm, I'm used uh, Faust. This library uh, to process data in real time. Uh, it's very helpful for me. And then I can distribute some data between uh, two databases in mean, Redis and Postgres. Okay. So, but right now would be the most important for us how, how to create a correct environment mm -hmm. instead of some garbage environment what exists on, on the internet. And, we try, and we, then we're trying to test this one and then looking what happens. Because I showed you if, if I just input, input my signal uh, with uh, um, with uh, some indicators inside of uh, this, like this one, course validation, it's not working because we're going to predict uh, predict next bar, but uh, we need to create some logic uh, how to keep this position, like this one, yeah, keep keep this position, and then we should understand how to find the best way to exit this position and uh, using. Traditional approach of machine learning, or deep learning, it's very hard uh, because we need to. Uh, maybe yeah, maybe we can create some triple barrier, uh, but I'm not sure it could be working. But if you're going to, if you're going to use reinforced learning, uh, reinforced learning, to understand, because the test level and from this level we try to manage our position uh, to maximize the uh, uh, reward function okay guys i hope it will be useful for you and see you next time bye